This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about something that non-farmers have asked me from time to time. Why on some farms do you see these great big grain legs, and then on most farms you just see augers running up to bins? Why do you guys do one versus the other? Well, it all depends on a lot of different factors. One is money, two is the farmer and what kind of future he sees for his farm, but really three is just safety. And to me, that's just a huge thing. And for our farm, just safety and ease of use is a big reason why we're putting up a grain leg this fall or why we put well, a grain okay, leg Okay, go in, fall. go into that a little more. Why do you say it's so much safer to have a grain leg than to have an auger? Well, for years, farming has had this, uh, this stigma and some of it has been a little bit true that farming is kind of a dangerous profession and as equipment progresses as farming methods progress we're taking a lot of those safety issues out of the equation now one of the big issues where we see some farmers from time to time get hurt or even killed sometimes is around augers augers can be a dangerous thing now you know when they're just running and everything's fine you know no big problem it's when you get up too close to some of this moving equipment that you can end up with issues yeah, and the so thing with moving around grain augers can be a big deal. Plus getting the, these huge augers to get up on top of bins. Well, you and I both know people personally where that augers have fallen onto and, and that's just a dangerous thing. Yeah, so the, with augers, you're moving those around as a farmer. You have to raise and lower them. But the other thing is, it's a big piece of metal inside that's spinning inside a tube, and it's spinning really fast. Plus, it normally has to get hooked up to a tractor to run that auger. Now, it could also be run by electricity, but very often it's run by a tractor. Well, anyway, with a grain leg, that is going to be run by electricity, and all it is is on a belt inside this great big steel box, on a belt there are a bunch of cups and those cups will lift the grain up and then as it gets to the top it dumps the grain and then it goes down a tube into a bin. That is fixed. You're not going to move it from place to place or anything like that and like Darren said initially it does cost quite a bit of money to have that but it is a little bit safer the other nice thing is you can have a lot of capacity. So the leg we just put up is 5,000 bushels an hour. That's five big semi loads in a whole hour. I mean, that is really moving. You'd have to have a, a huge auger in order to get that same capacity going. But the other big thing that we're looking at on our farm is this is right where we bring all our corn, all our corn goes through this one leg and I can leave that leg running all the time. Whereas an auger that cannot run empty, if it runs empty, that gets hard on the auger. The leg, you can let that thing run empty for a little while if you want to. So there are a lot of little differences between the auger and the leg, but if possible, we like to have a great big leg there it's much simpler and easier, just costs a little more money. With a leg, the other thing too, you mentioned it, it'll have a tube that'll run right to a bin. Well, it'll have multiple tubes that you can hook up to this one leg. So all you have to do is make a change right on the ground, turn a dial, however that particular leg may be set up, but you can switch which bin your grain goes to. So if you've got dry grain, you can put it in one bin. If you have a bin specifically designed to handle wet grain, you can shift it to that bin. Or if you had corn in one bin and beans in another, you just make one simple switch. You don't have to move a big auger around. It's not a big process. And you know, as farmers get older, this is a pretty nice thing for them too. You don't have to manhandle this big auger around or hook up an auger to a tractor and move it around and all this stuff. One person can do it. It's a simple job that takes about 10 seconds to switch from one bin to the next. It's really handy and a lot safer. Well, once again, there is a big difference between augers and legs for moving grain. You'll see both things used on a lot of different farms. Well, another thing you'll see on a lot of different farms, unfortunately, is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show.